How many lands here? Here? Up. Okay? At the same time, you're still back here. Okay? Then you turn. And at the same time, you... No, you have to turn. Turn much more. He's lifting too early. See? Here. Turn. Keep it down. Then the lift comes here. So don't lift too early. Turn the foot and stay down on it. Okay? Then the hip comes, no, you're lifting. You're stiff. <laughs> Come on, turn it, turn it all the way. See? So this hip is here on the same time as this one. See? Here. Then the jump comes. See? The young guys, they lift too early, so they jump into the jump. You turn into the jump. Because this is a rotational shot. You have one meter there. Okay, all this year we have just been working on one thing here. He lands with a discus very high here, or very far back, and he's actually very much over the right leg. In the past, he landed with a broken hip. He's not doing that anymore. The hip is under him. What we have been, he is a good turner, but he usually turns and the height of release, speed of release and everything, over the rim. But it's usually here. It's because he turns and then he goes like this. It has gotten much better, but there are still two more years to go. And you can see it in Helsinki last year. He threw his first qualification throw on the line and got a foul. He did it perfectly. He threw 66 meters. And then it took him another throw to get it. But like, he did everything right there. So what we have been doing, you can do the drill like we are doing in front of the mirror in San Diego, or like out on the tennis courts, where you just come here, settle, and shift a little bit, and then go through. Yeah, again. So what we are trying to do is to get his weight transfer a little bit more over to the left at the same time as he turns into the jump, because he is a very good turner. Robert, we try one more time to turn you into Yogi. Yogi comes, he lands in the vowel position, left leg comes down. Okay? You stay back, you open up, you keep this and you turn all the way. Turn it all the way. But now you have already extended your uh, rubber. You have to have something to jump on. You can't jump on straight legs. See? Again. So here, turn. At the same time as you turn, shift. And then the jump comes. Don't jump too early. Because then you're not using the rotational force from the throw. Come on, turn, 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 turn. And then jump. Yeah. Just from standing position. Okay. Up. Yeah, again. You're jumping a little bit too much into the jump. Turn into the jump. Turn and shift into the jump. Up with the arm. Yeah. With reverse. Come on. Yeah, this is a little bit more like a glide shot. Did you glide before? <laughs> okay. Let's uh, do it, here, up, stop, stop, turn the hip, turn the hip and stay down, okay, yeah, then you jump into, boom, okay, yeah, good, again, very good. He does not do this when he throws 100%. Here you see he's totally straight at the end. The settle is good. He's putting the discus on the shelf, like we call. The okay. Pretty good. When you're a full-time coach with elite athletes, you don't think about anything but rotational stuff. I saw one thing that you probably saw today. 
he jumps too much in his throw. That means that you lose power and speed. So what you need to concentrate